Today I want to show you how to make video a smaller size while maintaining same quality. First thing you'll want to do is download a program called Handbrake. Handbrake is 100% free and it's a great quality software so I highly recommend it. So go to the Handbrake website and click the download button. Most likely on this page you will see the download button for your system but just in case not you can click on other platforms and you will see that it's actually available on Mac OS, on Windows, on Linux download it, install it, and then open it up. The next step is to open the file that you would like to compress. So you can use this option here, file, open a single file, or just drag and drop that file into this area of the screen. This here is the file that I'm gonna try and compress, free YouTube subscribers MP4. So let's click open on this file. You can see that right now, this file is 576 megabytes, and we're gonna compress it significantly without losing any quality. This is the screen with a ton of options to help you adjust the video output the way that you want it to be, but don't get worried about the sheer amount of various options over here. In this part of the video, I want to show you how you can very quickly use some of the presets. And the easiest way to get started with this program is to use this presets option here at the very top where it says presets. So from the presets, you can choose um, any of these presets, you can see very fast 1080p, 30, 720p, and so on. And you can also access these pre presets, same presets from this menu over here. So these are essentially default settings that have already been created by the developers of the program. And they can very quickly help you select all of the settings. In general, I find that for day-to-day -day use, I don't really need to... Uh, change any of the settings myself, but you can customize them. So for example, if you choose one of the presets to be very fast 1080p 30, you can then go through these screens over here and change any of the default presets. So as an example, if you wanted to add a filter, and I'll talk about that in a little bit more detail later on in the video, but if you wanted to add a, a, any of the filters to your video, you can do that from here. For example, if you like this very fast 1080p 30 preset, but you want the quality to be not 24, but let's say 27, then you can adjust that over here. You can always just go back to the presets as well and load a different preset or kind of reset the preset to what it was before. So it's very simple to do. If you're wondering which preset you should use, I recommend to go with this one called fast 1080 P30, the default preset. This is the one that I find it works really fast. The videos get converted really quickly. The quality of the videos is really, really good and it reduces the file significantly. So let me show you how it will work when I choose this preset over here. I don't need to change anything anymore unless I want to customize any of the options. I just need to choose save as so that I know where the output of the video will get saved. See over here, you can choose the extension MKV, WebM or MP4 or M4V. So I'm, I want an MP4 and I'm gonna click save. This will now uh, set the save as folder to this destination. And pretty much all I need to do now is just go and start and code. I can also add them to queue so you can do more than one video at a time if you would like to batch process. But for now, I will just click start and code. So this is the output. This was the original video. It was 576 megabytes. Now this video was produced out of Camtasia and I already applied some compression characteristics out of Camtasia. The video output that we've got now is this one here. The reduced file is 162 megabytes. So it's been reduced by about three, almost four times, and the quality is indistingu indistinguishable. I'm gonna play little bits of it for you now so that you can take a look and see what you think. This is the original. And this is the reduced video. The quality is completely the same. You cannot tell the difference between them at all. The next step to make sure you get the maximum quality for your video is to smash the like button below and subscribe to my channel. Now, seriously guys, I'd really appreciate it if you click the like button for the YouTube algorithm and click subscribe just below so we can stay connected. Thank you. These are the basics of what you need to know about using Handbrake. So just go into presets, use any of these presets. If you choose a very fast one, it's going to do the job a little bit faster, but uh, the quality will be a little bit lower. If you've got a bit more time and you want a better quality compression, then you can choose any of the HQ or Super HQ settings. For everyday usage, just go with the fast preset. 
Now, if you would like to customize some of the settings, I'm just going to run through some of the most important settings here for you. Now, the first thing is in the summary section, you can choose any of the formats. So if you've got a preference for making an output file MKV or WebM, you can do that out of this option here. The second tab deals with dimensions and for dimensions, uh, it's not a very common thing for people to use, but if you would like to crop a video, for example, you can do that here. So for example, you can say cropping custom and you can crop perhaps, let's say 20 pixels from the top. You can do that uh, using these options over here. If you'd like to flip the video, so make it a mirror reflection of itself, either vertical or horizontal, you can do that from this option over here. If you want to change the resolution or if you want to add the borders, you can do that using these options here. If you want to add some of the filters to the video, you can. So for example, you can make it grayscale if you choose this option over here. If you want to sharpen it or denoise, etc., you can do that from these options here. Under the video tab, you can choose some of the more advanced options. So if you know that you would like to use a different encoder, feel free to choose that from these options here. I normally just go with H.264 and this is completely fine. If you've got a special graphics encoder, graphics card encoder that you would like to use, such as Nvidia, you can choose that over here, but H.264 will do the job just fine. If you want to adjust the frame rate, you can do that here. So you can make it 60 or 120 or 20, 30 works pretty well for most day-to-day -day applications. Now, probably the most important setting on this video tab is quality. For quality, the lower this setting, the better the quality. So you can mouse over this constant quality and it will actually tell you how this works. It says lower values correspond to higher quality. So when you drop this RF, score this one over here, it means that the video will be better quality. And when you raise it, it'll be worse quality. And what values are the best? Well, generally for high definition videos between 20 and 23 is recommended. So I would set it to somewhere between 20 and 23. And you will see that if I go into preset and go fast 1080p 30, that it will set itself to 22 RF. In the audio tab, you can change some of the settings over here. And the most important one here is the codec to use. So whether you want to use AAC, MP3, AC3, etc. If in doubt, just use double AC. That's the standard one and it works really well. Bitrate determines the quality. So generally, I would say go with between 160 and 320. On my videos, I tend to use 192. That seems to work really well. But if you really care about the quality, then perhaps consider going to 320. The higher this, the better the quality and the quality of the audio does not really make a big difference to the file size of the video because audio takes up very little data compared to the actual video content of the video. There are also a couple of options related to subtitles and chapters, but I won't go into it now. You can read the help files if you would like. In general, my best bit of advice is to basically use these presets and the standard options is this one over here, Fast 1080p 30. That's the one that's going to do a really good job for you. Thank you so much. Click the subscribe button just below this video to stay up to date with my content. Have a great day. My name is Greg Kononenko and I'll see you in the next video.